All right, good morning and welcome to this episode of Superior England. We have made it to our destination and our plan today is to jig lake trout with lighter weight spinning gear in water that's, I don't know, 80 to maybe 150 feet. We have a lot of work to do before we can get a bait down. Namely, we have not fished this area in the past, so I have no contours of it. So right now we're doing some auto charting, trying to get a feel for how this kind of structure lays out, try to get the feel for it, and then hopefully try to grab some fish. Again, I don't like to put a bait in the water until I grab a fish, especially with lighter weight gear and especially in an area that I've never fished in my life before. So um, again, it's kind of kind of a lot of work, but you never know what can happen out here. And that is kind of the, the unknown is kind of the part that I like. You educate yourself, you teach yourself, you learn a new part of the lake. I mean, that's what I love. That's what we love to do. And to try to educate you guys and teach you guys what we learn out here. So, so right now we're in about 112 feet of water. Um, I presume it's gonna come up a little bit more shallow and we're just gonna drive around. And I'll spend a half hour, an hour, just driving around until I can graph a nice group of fish. So ideally, I don't wanna be at the shallowest point because I feel like there's a lot of small fish up super shallow, but ideally we can grab some fish in that 100 to 120 foot depth range and drop, uh, drop some lighter weight lures down on them with spinning gear. I'm super excited for today. Stick with us, it's gonna be a good one. All right, now lighter weight gear. That's kind of the, the theme of our jigging adventure today. So as you guys have seen in, I'm gonna drop a waypoint here quick because I see another fish on the graph. But as you guys have seen kind of a, us jigging with, with bondy baits, we're using heavy line, like 40 pound test leader to you know a 60 or 80 pound test main line. Ooh, this is juicy right here, man. Um, but with today, with, with us being a little, we're trying to downsize a little bit. I'm gonna go with a kind of more of a 17 pound test fluorocarbon leader. So we're just gonna snip off, you know, maybe a, a four to five foot section here, just like that. And we have 20 pound test braided main line on these rods. So 20 pound test braid down to a 17 pound fluoro leader. And I'm just gonna connect that with, with an Albright knot. So just I put the line through it, I just twist it around seven, eight times, I put it right back through where it came from, and it's a pretty simple knot. I don't like to use swivels, just because we're gonna be doing a lot of casting as well, and letting these baits fall, and if you, you know, you reel up too far or whatever, you get the swivel caught in your guides of your rod, it's, uh, you're just asking for trouble. So this knot is super low profile, it can slide through the guides in your rod. And right there, that's all it is. So, um, you know, I try to keep this leader a little bit shorter too, just because if it is long, too long, like this, this knot will get down like in your reel and it's just excessive. Like you don't need that long of a leader. So, you know, something like this is, is plenty big and plenty long. So again, we're gonna be using lures in that maybe one ounce to two ounce variety, maybe even like a half ounce to an ounce and a half downsizing, lighter weight line, lighter weight lures, lighter weight rods. There's lake trout on the graph. Let's get a bait in the water. Let's deploy our Minn Kota. All right, buddy, you have in your tackle box some lighter weight lures that I don't have. Blade baits. I love them. Talk, tell me about them. Well, I started using these last fall up in the, the North Shore. Yeah. And besides losing them in the rocks, we caught a lot of lake trout off of them. <laughs> besides losing them in the rocks. That's good to know. So they do snag up, but hopefully yeah. we can keep these above the rocks and in a fish's mouth. Yeah, they really like the vibration. When you start jigging it up, especially when you're super deep, yeah. you can feel that thump. I mean, we and... all know blade baits for walleyes, how effective they yep. are. These are aggressive lake trout in a bigger bait like this. And... I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get bit. I don't think it will. I'm excited. Why don't you hook yours on there and we'll get these down. I mean, this weighs probably an ounce, huh? It's yeah, gotta, I think it's so. It's gotta weigh an ounce. Yeah, you can really feel that blade bump, huh? One thing when you're dropping it, if you don't notice the vibration right away, just reel it right up because it's probably fouling the way down. Oh, that's what, yeah. Mine feels good. I, I'm getting, oh, that was a fish. <laughs> Did you see my line stop? Yep. <laughs> I felt him hit it. I'm gonna see if he can chase me up. 
to get back out there. These are falling fast. I'm, I'm surprised at how fast these are getting down there. That's good. That's always my concern about, you know, jigging on, on structure like this is you need a bait that stays, you know, somewhat vertical, that falls fast, especially when you graph fish, you can get down there quick and get on top of them. So I'm liking these blade baits already. If they don't follow up, sometimes those fish will come up and whack it and miss it. Yeah. And they'll come up and whack it a couple times okay. before you get to hook some, and it's pretty fun. Okay. Because you know they're coming back up, so you just keep pumping it a little bit, and all of a sudden, thump, thump, they'll hit it again. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. There he is. Fish. That a boy. Small, <laughs> tiny. It's all right. <laughs> hey, it's a fish on a new piece of structure that Doesn't... we've never fished before. It didn't take long, buddy. <laughs> It's pretty small though. It's all right. Every fish is unique. Yeah. They get so pretty oh, out here too. You never know how. Yeah, uh, they're gonna one look of those like. gorgeous ones. We'll net them for you. You got to net the first fish of the day. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a little one, but look at how pretty his fins are, man. Isn't that <laughs> oh, awesome? Oh wow, that is gorgeous. Man, look at those fins. Yeah, they get so pretty out here. They're, they're much all... nicer than the North Shore. Yeah, your North Shore fish you're on Duluth are kind of that you know typical silver and kind of fatty, but yep. out here they get so wow. their fins are so orange and so pretty, huh? Almost like a yeah, they're just gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Take them out and hold them up. Yeah, pretty small, but it's a it's a nice sign to start the day. It's out. the first fish of the day, and we were fishing for about a minute and a half. <laughs> yeah. I lost one, and you caught that one, so you can't uh, you can't go wrong there, man. Yeah, we're gonna let this little guy go, and it'll get bigger. It's one of my favorite parts right there. Yeah, watch them swim. I away. love it. I know. It's just let's get some bigger ones. <laughs> Every lake trout's so special, man. There's so much fun, so much fun. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. It doesn't feel any bigger than yours, buddy. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's usually like the problem that you have out here on, on on new spots that you try out is that you're just so consumed and overwhelmed with smaller fish. And again, there's nothing wrong with them. And that's kind of why we're using lighter weight gear today, just because going into it, I'm like, you know, I know we're not, you know, catching fish isn't going to be a problem. It's just going to be that size. So hey, let's downsize a little bit. Yeah, look at this little guy. <laughs> Let's downsize a little bit so you can have some fun with it, man. That's an aggressive lake trout, right? Like for a, a lake trout to go after a bait of, of that size is pretty uh pretty ferocious. Just a just a little guy. He's got a long way to grow up. We'll get him back. That is a little I don't know, a little bit painful. You know, we, <laughs> yeah. we, we can do better than that. We can I do better we... than that. We uh, are fishing a little bit shallower. I think we might have to move a little bit deeper right now. But that's kind of my overall kind of saying on Lake Superior is that your big fish on Lake Superior live in very, very few areas. They're rare. They don't live everywhere. You're not going to go to a random spot and catch a bunch of 20, 30 pounders or even one for that matter. It doesn't happen. So you have to weed out spots, you know, learn, continue to uh, just explore, which is what we're doing today. You know, we do the small fish, have fun doing it, which we are, but you know, you know, the potential exists out here for massive things to happen. So hopefully we can find something a little bit bigger nature today but we're having fun so far and we're just going to continue to move around and maybe you know if we catch two or three four more of these you know really small fish that's a little better a little better um you know we'll we'll move into some deeper water and maybe target that 120 to 150 foot depth but we'll see what tim and has here again catching fish is not the problem it's just going to be the size what do you got buddy probably about the same as the first one Hey, if they're pretty like that, it's worth it, man. Isn't that, aren't they it's gorgeous? It's probably just a hair bigger than the one you caught, but. <laughs> no, sometimes they get smaller coming up. This one's getting smaller. Oh, wow, look how small he is. Hoist into the bolt category. <laughs> this is tidy. I All love right. it when they hit those still. On the light gear, it's pretty fun. It is fun, right? I mean, it is fun. Catching oh, yeah. that fish trolling would be painful. Like, you wouldn't even know you have it on. But jigging rods like this, it's actually kind of fun to feel them hit. All right, now. We were trying to search out some bigger fish, obviously. Um, I wasn't, uh, I was impressed with the action at that first spot, but um, the size just wasn't there. So we're driving around and now there's times that I'll fish an area when I don't graph the fish, but there's other times that I won't. And it all depends on the type of bottom. Like if you scroll back here, you can see this, how it's a very hard return. I mean, the, it, to me, that says it's like bigger shelf rock. And with shelf rock, lake trout can't hide down in the rocks. You know, they're, they're, it's a shelf. There's nothing to hold those fish in. There's no eel put down in the rocks for those lake trout to eat. It's just kind of, you know, kind of featureless structure. 
when you get stuff like this, see like that, you get more of a purple and a red return. That means it's a not necessarily a soft bottom, but there's bigger, there's there's more rubble, more rocks down there. So we're not getting the super hard bounce. You know, our transducer beam is going down and hitting a bunch of different things. And that's what that signifies. So, um, you know, I would fish something like that. I'd give that, you know, a couple minutes. Even though we don't graph a fish, I know very well there could be fish down there that are down in the rocks. Or our transducer beam is just hitting the rocks before it can hit a fish. But, you know, if you're graphing stuff and you see, you know, structure like this, where it's just a solid, hard, yellow return with nothing much going on, it's not worth fishing. If I graph fish, you know, obviously fish them, but to me there's just nothing that could be down in the rocks here because that's more just big shelf rock. Oh, there we go. There you go, Timon. Nice. What a boy. That's a fish. Does that feel better, Timon? It does a little better than the last one. What a boy. What a boy. It hit it right when I started pulling up again, just whacked it. And just like stand still. Well, it's got a little bit of kick to him. One of the fun things about being so deep is it takes a long time to get them up. Oh, here he is. He's burping up, about the same as last one. Not a bad laker, that's so much fun on light spinning gear. When he thumps it, it just, you, you absolutely feel it. Everyone we caught so far has just choked down this blade bait. You almost have to be careful so they don't get caught in the gills too bad. Because they're so fragile out here. Not a bad fish. Oh, I love it when they swim away like that. There he is. <laughs> that is so fun, man, how hard they hit these baits. They love, I love it. He hit me and just like whack it felt like a you know like a jig in a plastic with a walleye and he didn't hook up and then he came back and smoked it again unbelievable that is so much fun that is so much fun <laughs> and what we don't have in size we're making up for in quantity and the fun factor on lightweight spinning gear blade bait lake trout like what you know it's awesome. There's not many times you get to do this. It's 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 a very cool, unique way to target lake trout. It's just the way that thing hit it, you would have thought it was a, I don't know, 15 pounder, you know? Just a little, I don't know, two, three pounder. <laughs> just a little guy, but they just crack it. And it's just all about that vibration and making noise down there and just being, you know, aggressive with it. So when you cast these out. What you want to do is, you know, I'm, we're kind of drifting with the wind a little bit and I'm just casting ahead of the boat and just kind of ripping it back and maintain, letting it sink to the bottom. It takes, you know, it takes a minute or so. Let me just cast this out. So yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm just whipping it out there and right as soon as it hits the water, I just want to give it like an initial pull to make sure it vibrates, to make sure that line's not right there on the hook like Tim and showed us earlier. Um, so that felt good. I felt it vibrate. So now I'm just going to open my bale, let it sink to bottom. Oh, there we go. Oh boy. Little guy. Let it sink to bottom and just work it back to the boat. And I'll, you know, rip it three or four times and reel up. And then, you know, every now and then let it fall back to bottom and just kind of try to stay mentally within, you know, 20 feet of bottom. Feel like a decent one? It's just a little guy. Little guy. But they just whack it so hard. Isn't that crazy how hard they hit oh. these baits? <laughs> it's uh, so much more fun to catch these on this light gear. It just sends a pulse through your arm and like down into your, you know, your wrist and using braided line and a nice rod like this Legend Tournaments. It's a, uh, it's only it's a, a couple pounder, but yeah, that's a little guy. I mean, that fish, when it, fish hit, of that size. it felt so much nicer. It was so fun <laughs> to get him, even though he's so, you know, uh, even though he's just a little, little just guy. a little guy. But you know, I mean, jigging up around the North Shore and Lake Superior and, you know, Two Harbors area and whatnot, I mean, the, 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 I mean this is kind of the size of fish you're catching, yeah. you know? So, I mean, it's it's not like it's, uh, you know, these are tiny fish. We're just, you know, the spot we're on today, we're just fortunate that we can see, you know, if we want to see 100, 100 of these fish in the next, you know, two hours, we can do that. Like, that's how many fish are down there, which is, which, you know, is a lot of fun because you got your trips where you get your size, but when you have your size, it seems like you're catching two, three, four fish a day max. But you got trips like these where, 
you know, you're on numbers, but your size isn't there. It's kind of a kind of a little bit of a, a give, give and take, but I'm having a blast. This is a yeah, lot of fun. Yeah, this is pretty fun. No, it's just a long it's way out there. It's a fish, It's a man. fish, Everything though. It's good. pretty nice. Heck yeah, man. It's on the very end of that cast. That's why it's like super <laughs> far away. That's fun. Yeah, it is. He just dumped it. Please you get, don't get up. You get double the fun for the price of admission. Uh-huh. Gosh. He's coming to life a little bit with... How's she well, feel? She feels decent. Isn't that crazy what you can feel with braided line and a high quality rod? Oh, it's so nice. I mean, it's like, if you're using mono and a, a rod that's not, you know. I wouldn't even bother with mono You wouldn't this. even, no, you don't stand a chance. Mm -mm. It's all about sensitivity with blade baits. Got them right in the corner of the mouth too. Look at how pretty that one is. I'm just gonna flip them up. No, oh, I guess it's nicer than I thought. <laughs> love how gorgeous these fish are out here. Look at how pretty these fins are. They're just not like this in the Duluth Two Harbors area. Look at the colors on that. Look at how dark his back is. Oh my gosh. This is so much fun on the light tackle. I mean, it was the very end of the cast. I gave it a couple of rips and he just thumped it. I mean, just super fun. You feel everything with these rods and this line. Oh, my line stopped. Isn't that so awesome? <laughs> that is why. That is why. I just, I'm like, I shouldn't be on bottom yet. And again, why you use high vis line because I can watch that. I literally saw my line stop and I'm like, this isn't right. It's, it's not that shallow. And boom, you set the hook and it's fish on. Oh, I love it. There's no other way I'd rather spend a day right now than on Lake Superior, catching lake trout left and right. <laughs> it's just an absolute riot. <laughs> size 4,000 Shimano. That's size 4,000 you can put, you know, 300 yards of line on here of 20 pound braids so you don't have to worry about anything. But oh, look how pretty this fish is. That's a gorgeous fish. Oh, almost too big to hoist. Look at that. Look at that fish, man. That's not a bad fish there. I'll take that fish any day of the week. Look at that. Blade bait, lake trout out here on Lake Superior. Does it get any better? I, d I don't know. I don't know. Look at those fins. Bright orange and that white. I love all those contrasts. Those colors are so pretty. All right, get that blade out of them. There we are. Full of spunk, full of energy. We're going to release this one back down to the depths. I love it. Oh, that one, that fish had an attitude, man. I guess I would um, have an attitude as well if I had a big white and red blade bait in my mouth that I thought was gonna be a herring or smelt. <laughs> uh, one thing about these blades is that, yes, you get the, uh, the visual, which, you know, I'm convinced that, you know, that's mainly what trout go off of, but, you also get the vibration with these. And there's not many lures that we've, you know, come across to jig for lake trout with that give you that vibration. You know, like a bucktail jig is pretty silent in the water. Um, a bonnie bait is pretty silent in the water. These blade baits, man, they make noise. It's just a big thump, 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 thump. You can see it in your rod tip, you know, when, um, when, you, when you jig and you just feel it and see it. And it's just giving off all that vibration. So yes, the water's clear and yes, lake trout, primarily key in on on sight but you know and it, it doesn't hurt to make a lot of noise down there have some vibration down there because uh you know lake trout are gonna <laughs> it gets them fired up man and you can tell because you know numerous times we've you know hooked a fish it's got off it comes back and hits you know a second or two later and it's done that three times actually so um you know but you know they're fire, they're fired up and they they want to eat it when they come back and hit it three times all right Tim, who makes these baits these are nice blade, blade baits i got these from blitz lures big blade baits like these are hard to find so um yeah i'm gonna go definitely be buying a few of these but again they're nice i don't know exactly how much this weighs, but it's at least an ounce and a half or ounce oh yeah for sure. yeah 
But he's very nice bait. And they make even a bigger size that I bought for musky fishing. Do they really? Yep. And That's I should cool. have brought it today, yesterday. So Blitz? Blitz. All right, we'll have to check them out. Um, yeah. Again, if you're using lures in that quarter to a half ounce, like it's tough out here, especially if you get some wave action going or, you know, there's a lot of current or whatever. So, you know, you want to stay, try to stay in that, you know, three quarter ounce to, you know, two, three, four ounces, ounce range, you know, especially with this lighter weight gear, like that's good. If you're fishing quarter ounce baits out here, it's just not going to work. It's, you're just not going to have that sensitivity. You're not, it's going to take forever to get down there. Um, you know, and it doesn't matter. Like you've seen the size of lake trout we're catching today. They're not the biggest fish. They're inhaling this bait, right? Absolutely. Like, yeah. I mean, it's insane how, how, you know, well they're eating it. So, you know, lure size is definitely not a concern out here. These fish don't get a ton of food. So whenever they see something, they're going to eat it. So this, you know, this is, this is a fun way to fish. This is going to be yeah. a, you know, a new, a new thing for me in the, in the future for sure. It's, oh yeah, uh, definitely. It's super that's fun. A, that's a blast. Oh, there we go again. Oh, <laughs> Tim, you're on this one's fire, got a little buddy. bit of shoulders to it too. You're on fire, buddy. <laughs> hey, I'm hooked up too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doubles. The daily double. They are so fun when they whack it. Ah, I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Mine feels better. I'm actually. This, this is like a better a, fish than the ones yeah, I had before. Yeah. I. Yeah. It my, doesn't want to come up. I'm feeling a little burn in my arm, buddy. I'm feeling a little burn. I mean, I am a little tired from all the ones that we've been catching, but <laughs> this is a different caliber fish. It's not moving right now Good. at all. Good. No, well, I got mine here. Mine uh, was hooked a little funky. Whoa. Look at he just t bowed that That's a nice bait. fish. That Look at how nice dark fish. the I know. all the way to the bottom. I know. Those two treble hooks are nice. That's uh, hooked him right in his fin there. This one doesn't want to come up. I see some color. All right, but I'm gonna get mine back so I can net yours. There it goes. Look at him go. <laughs> that's a better fish. That's one of our. That's the biggest fish today, man. Look at that one. That's a nice fish, buddy. Look how colorful it is. I just spot locked this. So our boat's gonna turn around. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. Oh, look at that big old. That is a nice man. fish. Look at him go. Look at that fish. <laughs> oh, bingo, bango. Oh, that is a beauty. Look how cool that is. Look at how dark the like, colors are on that thing. That makes the day worth it right there. Like, Holy that is moly. Such an awesome fish. That's actually a really nice that fish. Is. Wow. All right, let's get this big girl into the boat, man. That's a heavy <laughs> fish. Like, that fish is going to go eight, nine pounds. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Wow, buddy. <laughs> look at that girl! Whoa! Uh, oh, look at that fish! How cool is that? Buddy? Oh my goodness! That makes the whole day. I'm so happy for you. You've never got to catch one like this. No, look at how pretty that fish yeah, is. Look at the cool. size They're of those so fins. They're so unique out here. Isn't that the cool? This the texture. They're bumpy. Yeah, they are. We've caught a lot of fish like this in the past. It's just they're identical. They just have you know super bumpy skin, big fins on them. I mean, you know, short noses, like. Look at the chunk on that belly. Super I mean, unique and super cool fish, man. I mean, it's just, it doesn't get any better. Like, that's, how fun is that? Oh, it was so fun. That makes the and whole that was on a double. <laughs> I know, yeah. a double, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we kind of disregarded my fish because this one stole, oh. stole the attention, which I'm perfectly okay with because Jeez. that's something to celebrate right there. Let's get her back, huh? There we go. You got him? Yep. That a boy. That a boy. Oh, one just followed me up. That's yeah, so they cool. followed. I saw him swim right to the boat. <laughs> it's a little guy. So cool, man. But he, I love when they whack it. It's 100 feet of water, a lake trout just free follows you right to the boat. Like, that's super cool. Not a bad fish, though. No. Nope. Not a bad fish. Almost a little big to hoist. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> just a touch. Just a touch. Come here, buddy. Oh, are they ice Look cold. at that. Nice. Yeah, I look at them. Two, three pounder. Yeah. Beautiful, but I just love Super the fun to catch. Them. They are, they are. Just an absolute riot out here on Lake Superior. Let's get that fish back, man. But what a day we've had, Tim. And I mean, it's, oh, it's, it's, been awesome. a, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, it's just something different catching lake trout on blade baits and walleye, like more heavy walleye gear. Like, that's an absolute riot, you know? I mean, it's something you don't get to do every day. So nope. it's, uh, it's fun that, you know, we can just, you know, take advantage of a nice weather day like this and just come out here and try a new area and try some new things and have it work out. So, you know, St. Croix Legend Tournament, some 20 pound braid, some 17 pound fluorocarbon, a blade bait. I mean, that's a recipe for success right there. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.